Oh, greetings fellow users of the internet. On the internet, a lot of photographers like to talk about their best photos, but I'm not most photographers. In fact, I'm not a photographer. I'm just some guy with a dumb face who makes videos on YouTube that nobody watches. So I'm going to do something completely different. Hi, my name's Jordan, and I'm a wannabe photographer. I've taken some good photos over the years, and some not so good ones, but what is the worst photo I've ever taken? This is a question I've been asking myself for quite some time, so join me as I look back at my old photos and ask myself, what the F? Okay, so I haven't really fleshed out the details of this series quite yet, but I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to select some random photos that I took many, many years ago. I went through some of my old flickers a couple of weeks ago, and I just selected some of the worst photos I found. I don't really remember which ones I picked, so I'm just going to click on a random one, and this is an unscripted reaction, and I'm going to critique my photos on a one to five star scale. I don't imagine there are going to be any five-star images in here, though. Okay, so here we go. Image number one. Uh, so let's talk about this image. Um, this image was taken in Aizu Wakamats in Japan, and it was taken from the top of Tsuruga Castle. Um, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, wow, this is a lot harder than I thought. This is really bad. Let's start with some of the technical things. So, uh, you might notice that it's not, um, level. So, tip number one, level your images. It's very important to do that. The next thing I notice here, um, I've zoomed in a little bit, and this might just be a file compression thing because I took it from Flickr, but it might also be because I took this with my old camera, on probably landscape mode because I didn't know how to use my camera back then. Uh, but it is really, really noisy in the mountains here. Uh, and, you know, the really sad part is I think there is some potential if I had a longer lens because I did take this during sunset. But, you know, as it is, this is just a terrible, terrible photo. I mean, there's some nice clouds in the top there. And, uh, wow, that's it. So I think that about wraps it up for this episode. I thought it would be a little longer than this, but it turns out uh, when it comes to my shitty photos, uh, there's not much to say. So what can we learn from this photo? Level your images, don't be bad, and uh, don't process things like a freaking idiot. Uh, I have processed this image horribly. Uh, this was back when I was just learning how to use Lightroom, so I probably just used a preset on this one. Uh, don't use presets on Lightroom. Uh, I'm gonna make a video about that later. I give this image a solid one and a half stars because I think the conditions are really good, but everything else is absolutely terrible. <sighs> I should have named this a serious career suicide. Well, see you next time.